Good morning, Catherine. Today is Thursday, and I am back home, if you can see by the mess all over around me. I am officially finished with my sophomore year of college. I have moved all of my stuff back home, and I am here for the rest of the summer. One of the things I wanted to talk about today is my love of poetry. So last night, you and I went to a show of Andrea Gibson reading her poetry. One of the things that I've always loved is writing and reading poetry. I particularly like spoken word poetry because I think the performance aspect is one of the things that really draws me in and the way that people can use similes and metaphors to really get their point across. Brevity has always been a strong suit of mine. I've always really enjoyed being able to say things in the shortest amount of space possible. I've also noticed that when it comes to writing my own story and writing like my memoirs for example, I have a very hard time being able to write the whole thing all the way through because my specialty tends to be short stories so less than 10 pages is usually the most that I go with. The other thing about like writing my story is that there are a lot of different lines that it takes so there's one part where I just talk about the music aspect and one part about just the culture shock of moving from the city to the suburbs and all of these different paths that my life has gone to that it's a lot harder for me to make one cohesive story where it goes from start to finish without leaving something out. With poetry you're meant to leave stuff out so it's meant to be just a snapshot of one thing and that's the thing that I like about it when it comes to writing and reading poetry is that your main focus is just one thing. So one of my most successful poems right now I like to affectionately call it my fat kid poem and it's the poem I wrote towards the middle of last semester when I was really coming to terms with the fact that I am a fat kid, I have been a fat kid for a very long time, and I was becoming more comfortable describing myself like that. I was coming to terms with the fact that I don't care what anybody else thinks, I will be okay with whoever I am, and it was, Andrea Gibson was talking about this last night, it was recognizing that your body is not your enemy, and I think that was my first step towards saying we are in this together whether we like it or not. It's just about me being a fat kid. Like, there are a bunch of pieces of my life that aren't in it, but it really does encompass my life in one thing. And I was really excited to do that. Maybe in a future video, I will have my video be that poem because you and I were working on it this afternoon and we got to a point where I think I like the way that it has ended along the lines of the future. In about a week, this project will be over. We will have done non-textual communication for a very long time from the time when the first one of us left to when the last one comes home from college and it started out as a project with four people and then it was five people and then it dropped down to just the two of us and honestly I've had a really great time with it. It has been difficult because there have been times when I've just wanted to text you to ask you a quick question and instead I have to call you or I just have to try and figure it out myself. Yes it's been hard but I've really liked it. I think it's gotten us a new set of skills so now I can put on my resume that I'm good at Final Cut and that I can teach Final Cut and that I can make videos. It's very interesting and I like the way that I can do this now. I kind of want to continue with it. I know that we don't really have an audience. I know that it's pretty much just us. I kind of like that. I like that it's just us. I mean, I would like if other people saw them because I think we could have, similar to the Nerdfighter community, we could have honest discussions with people who are not just us because you and I tend to think similarly on things and I I want those opposing views on things. So I think one of the things I want to work on is trying to find more people to bring in on that conversation because I think that would be really awesome. Other than that, I don't have anything for you. And Catherine, I'll see you tomorrow.